Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you pro way of debugging. So without any further ado, let's begin. So for example, you wanna see the uh, player location always, right? Let's just use a event stick, okay? And in here, what we, we were doing till now, we say print a string, right? And in here we say get old location of our mesh, right? And now we can show that in our print string, in our screen, right? If we compile and run now, you can see it is showing our player location, but there is a better way. If you expand this, you can see we have this new thing, the key. So for example, I can say mine, right? So this way to defining a key in here, what will happen if we compile and run our game? Now you can see we we are seeing the location, but our screen is not filled up with all of those s strings, right? This is better way to do it. But so with that, we know that X is uh, X Y Z location of our character. But let's just delete this. I want to show you something else. If we go down, we have we have an X and a Y, right? We want to show that. We can just again use print a string in here and show the X, for example, just like this, right? And go here and give it a key, for example, key number one or whatever you want to put in there. It will be okay. So run and now you can see it will give us a value between one and minus one, but it's not self-explanatory what this number is. What we can do about that, let me show you. We can use a append node, right? And connect this value that we want to show to the B. And in the A, we can say the X is equal to this, to the B, right? So at the return value, we can show it in print a string, right? So let's just compile and run. Now you can see we have X equal minus one, one, and all of that, right? We know what it is now. X is equal to that, right? For example. But again, there is a better way. This way of doing it is too messy. So let's just delete everything in here. Connect this trigger to here again. The better way to do it, we can go to content drawer in here, right click, go to blueprint. And in here, we can create a blueprint function library. Create it. I want to call it BF for blueprint function and I want to call it MISC for miscellaneous, right? Some functions that we use all the time. So double click on it to open it and you can see we can create some function in here and access it everywhere. No, in here I want to say this is print a string enhanced, all right? Or whatever you want to call it. No, in here, I want to again print some a string, right? Print a string. And in this print a string, I want to give it a key. And I don't want to give it a key in here, but I want to give it that key whenever we want to use this function. So let's just leave it at whoever who want to use this function, right? They should give us a key. No. If we click on this function, we can create more input. For example, we want to show the data, right? So let's just call it data. It is a type of a string and we want to write something before this data. For example, x equal, right? So I want to call this before and maybe I want to show something after this data. So I can call this after, right? So now with that, let's just reposition them. I want this data to be at the middle. So we have before, data, and after, okay? Now with that, we can grab this before and use an append node in here. We need three values in here. So let's just add another one by clicking on this add pin. 
and we want to show the data and after that we want to have some after a string for example we want to say x equal on this a and in the b that is data we put whatever data that we have and in after we say for example centimeter right and in return value we can just connect it to the string and that's all we need to do in this function right so let's just compile and save now if we go to our third person character class in here now again we want to show this x how we can do that we can say print a string enhanced the one that we create together it that is in bf misc right that we create together so now if we click that i can give it a key for example one or whatever you want to put in there before the data i want to say x is equal and in data i want to show you this x for example right and after that i want to say a space centimeter right like this now if we compile and run now you can see x is equal one or minus one centimeter it is more clean and what we can do more about this we can give the duration to the input of this function so whoever want to use this they can choose a duration for example 10 seconds right so again if you compile it will stay there for 10 seconds right so you can see everything cool with that but how we can make it better so for example if i go here what i want to do in here let me show you i can i can create a local variable a type of boolean should debug okay so sometimes we want to have those debugs line right for development purposes but sometimes we want to compile our game and send it to a steam or epic game launcher or all of that we want to publish our game and we don't want to have these debug messages so we can use uh, this type of variable to disable all the debug logs so how we can do that we can in here say branch okay and with this branch we can choose we can check this should debug to here right and if it is true it should print a string but if it is false do nothing right so let's just compile that go here at default i want to enable this should debug right so let's just again compile save and no let's just go here save everything in here no if we run or whatever it will show you that debug a string right so let's just do another thing in here to show you how good it is so again let's just use another print string enhanced and in here the key this time i want to use two in here and this time i want to show y y equal to whatever the data is this y right and after that we want to say whatever right <laughs> whatever we want to write in there the duration i want to put a 10 for example no we have some debug so you can see it will just show you the data that we need and it won't uh, fill up our screen and when we are ready to publish our game we don't need to delete all of this we can just go to our uh, function in here and click on our show debug and disable this and by just disabling this we are disabling all the debugs printer string right you can see it's not showing nothing so that was it guys for this video you can use this function everywhere so you have a clean debug messages in your screen i hope you like this video please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye